this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming to another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the two-way community. And like I said before, y'all to start people. I'm just a mess. I'm just to every citizen trying to uphold the Constitution to defend the Second Amendment. So, you know, right now we're in the middle of a important election. We know the opposition is trying to destroy the Second Amendment. They've been coming after our gun manufacturers, coming after everything. But gun manufacturers are in the spotlight, people. I have talked about on the Biden-Harris website how Joe Biden and Kamala Harris has vowed to destroy your gun manufacturers. They, they want to destroy the second, the second Amendment, people. And, you know, this is not a joke. And, you know, I, like I said before, I'm using everything in my toolbox, all the things in my toolbox to preserve the Second Amendment for future generations. I'm talking about, so right now, there have been organizations out there who is against your gun rights, people. Organization on all measures. I have been talking about this before. So I'm going to bring something that a lot of people is probably not aware of. And, you know, you have organizations, religious organizations, that is out there trying to get rid of your gun rights, people. And they're doing anything as possible. Now, a lot of you, I come up here and I talk about, you know, firearm stocks and stuff like that. Because when, when it comes to your gun manufacturers, they're, t they're, they're tied to the stock market. And how important is that? A lot of people don't understand. So you have organizations who are buying stock into some of these gun manufacturers so they could get on the inside and destroy them. Now, I have talked about this a long time ago, and I think it's very important for a lot of people to see this. I'm bringing you information, people, that a lot of people is not going to talk about. This is some stuff that's not being covered. I'm bringing stuff that's not in the headlines. So you have gun organizations out there who are against your Second Amendment. And, you know, right now you have a bunch of organizations, but this particular organization. Now, this is a group of nuns, a group of nuns. And, you know, the manufacturers, Smith & Weston people, they've been after Smith & Weston and Stern Ruger. They've been after a lot of your farm manufacturers out there for a while. And they've been using these sneaky, ta these sneaky tactics to destroy your gun manufacturers by getting on the inside. I always talk about that. You have a lot of things, a, a lot of tactics that the opposition is using is try to get inside of gun organization, your gun um, groups and stuff like that, people who support your Second Amendment. And they're trying to destroy them from the inside instead of trying to, you know, work their way on the outside. So you have a group of nuns who have $2,000 worth of stock or more in Smith & Weston stock. Now, I've been talking about Smith & Weston stock and stuff like that. Stock been going through the roof and stuff. Now, right now, a group of nuns are still trying to successfully destroy your gun manufacturers. So what these groups been doing is they get stock in a particular company or they try to get enough stock. So they can be involved in, you know, hearings and stuff like that when it comes to the company and what direction and stuff the company is going to go. Now, this group of nuns um, done this before. They tried to do it to Stern Ruger and stuff like that. So now they're doing it again, and they have been successful in doing this by buying stock in these gun manufacturers and trying to change policies and stuff and force gun manufacturers to do things that, you know, pretty much infringe on their business model and infringe on the Second Amendment. Now, right now, you have a group of nuns who are trying to get Smith & Weston to adopt some type of human right policies and stuff like that because of the gun violence in this country. They're using this gun violence as a tactic so they can go and destroy your gun manufacturers, people. This is the stuff that, you know, I've been trying to tell people about and small sound bites over a bunch of videos and stuff. That's why it's going to take a, a lot of these videos for me to get people to understand. You got people coming in, they don't understand. So what they're doing, they get enough shares in these companies so they can have some say-so and say things and communicate and affect the way this company, the companies are going. So Smith & Weston right now, um, you know, is battling some nuns who are, who want Smith and Weston to pretty much adopt some type of human right policy and stuff. Now they have they were successful um, a few times on some manufacturers. They have was successful by you know trying to get manufacturers to adopt some type of gun violence prevention strategy, such as 
um, you know, um, like increasing smart guns. You know, Joe Biden said that he wants to increase smart guns and everything. So control your farm and everything. I talked about that. I'm talking about, you know, they're trying to do little things to change the policies and strategies inside the gun manufacturers. And this is going to affect us, people, gun owners. They're pushing hard. The nuns were successful trying to, you know, change the gun manufacturer CEO pay packages and all this kind of stuff. Their incentives and everything. And they're going to they keep coming and coming and coming, people. They finding any little thing to destroy your gun manufacturers. This is one of the risks right here. And they're trying to force the gun manufacturers to adopt some type of human right policies in the firearm manufacturers, which would force firearm manufacturers to pretty much increase things such as smart gun technology, um, you know, gun uh, safety prevention strategies and all this kind of stuff. I'm talking about this is some of the stuff that, that they're trying to do. It's out there. It's not a secret, people. That's why it's very important that we get out and vote for the Second Amendment. And you think the opposition is not going to give this a boost if they get the get in position to, to power this stuff, to push this stuff along quicker? They are, people. They're going to get in there and go full blast on your Second Amendment. They're not gonna. They're not talking about the economy. They're not talking about bringing jobs from overseas and manufacturers overseas back to the country. They're not talking about. They're not talking about none of that. Gun violence. Guns. It's all about firearms. You. I'm telling you, people. This is very serious. When you have a group of nuns buying stock in companies and other organizations buying stock in these manufacturing company and trying to get on the inside so they can change the way these gun manufacturers pretty much are doing things to go against your second amendment right. That is getting serious, people, along with all the other strategies and stuff that they're doing. But that is one part that they're trying to get to you and infringing your second amendment. And there's so many people who... They, they, they mind, they mindset, they, they sights when it comes to the Second Amendment is so small, they're missing so much. And they just think about a few things in the two-way community, how they're trying to take your firearms. But they're doing more than that. They're doing more than that. Your gun dealer's at risk. Your FFL dealer's at risk. Your gun manufacturer's at risk. The way you buy guns is at risk. The freedom you have in this country when it comes to firearms is at risk. And their goal is to keep you from buying firearms and get rid of guns, you know, pretty much totally. That, 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 that is the goal, people. There's no other way to put it. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.